Hi, I'm James Gilbert. Thank you for watching one of my tutorial videos. In this video, we're going to talk about bar numbers and Sibelius. Sometimes when you're working on an orchestra score, you may want to have different looking bar numbers in the score than what you have in the parts. So how do we do that? Probably the easiest way to do that is to go to your Appearance tab, to Engraving Rules, and go down to Bar Numbers. Specify the different settings you might want here. Most important would be frequency. You want it to be every measure. And then you could specify where you want the bar numbers to be. You'll notice I have a staff called New Bar Numbers, and we'll talk about how I created that staff toward the end of the video. You can specify your horizontal and vertical positions. You may need to play with the relative to staff to get this centered just exactly where you want it. And next, we want to talk about editing the text style. So in this score, I have the text style inside of a box with a white background and a bold typeface. So under Style, you choose the typeface, Bold. You can change the size. So if you want really big bar numbers, you can do that. You can also change your font if you want a different font. For the border, I chose the box option, erase background, and set the background color to white. I suggest you experiment with them. Specify your horizontal position and your vertical position and that will change the look of the bar numbers in the score. For the parts, rather than go to appearance engraving rules, we're going to go to the parts tab and go to part appearance. And we want to have this happen with all parts. So we go to the house style and the most important thing you need to do is right here where it says bar numbers at the bottom, bar number text style. Choose bar number parts. So we have bar numbers parts. We can specify the frequency and other options just like in the other dialog box. And we can edit the text styles. So we go into not bar numbers but bar number parts and we can specify the same items that you specified before. No background in this case horizontal position, vertical position, and the like. And you may be noticing on the multi-measure rest, we have the range of those rests here. That is taken care of in the Appearance tab, Engraving Rules, right here at the very top. Show range of bars on multi-rest, for example, 5 through 8, and center on the multi-rest. And that's the basics for doing different part numbers from your score and parts. So that's customizing bar numbers in Sibelius. So how did I create this staff? Add or remove an instrument. I went down to within the All Instruments category, Others, and chose this item, which originally said Unnamed Treble Staff. To show you how it's done, we're going to change base staff into one of those. So we add it to our score, we move it up, we have an unnamed staff. And of course, it gives us a mess. So we have to go into this Instruments tab here, choose the unnamed base staff, edit the instrument. I would recommend changing the name and dialogues at least to new, in this case, bar number staff. We want to edit the staff type because we don't need a bass clef up there. We want one line, no bracket, no initial clef, no key signature or tuning, and we don't want any rests. So you'll notice there are no numbers on the original bar staff that we've created. So in order to do that we need to go back to appearance, engraving rules, and specify we want it on both. We don't need two staves in a row like that, so let's move the bar numbers down to just above the trumpets. And then let's take another one of these, new bar number staff, and add it in. And let's move it all the way down to the bottom. So now we have bar numbers at the very top. We have it just before the trumpet, and we have it at the very bottom. However, we didn't specify to add it to that one. So make sure all three get selected, 
and there you have bar numbers at the bottom, we have it in the middle, and we have it at the top. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell to be notified of future videos like this. Thank you for watching.